Every stacker has their share of premium bullion. Some just can't resist the latest coin, round, or bar that hits the market. Others find a piece that just speaks to them. Either you connect with the design in some way, or perhaps the design brings up some good memories. Still others see a premium piece and believe that it's a great opportunity to buy a limited piece early and flip it on the secondary markets for a max profit. We all have some premium bullion in our stacks for whatever reason, so the question is, what to do with it knowing there's about to be a period of economic and financial unrest. First, I think it's vitally important to understand why the financial crisis is going to happen in order to believe that it really will occur. If you don't believe that there's going to be an impending U.S. dollar reset, reevaluation, or redenomination within the next two to five years, then your silver stacking strategies and decisions may leave you extremely vulnerable if and when these conditions take place. As a silver stacker and a content provider for the stacking community, I believe in the principle of gathering as much information as possible so the most informed decisions can be made. To better understand why I believe this financial crisis is inevitable, let's take a brief look at silver and answer a few questions. Why do people value silver? The concept of money in some form has been part of human history for at least the last 3,000 years. Before money, people used the barter system. Silver became an instrument of monetary exchange as coinage by the Greeks and the Romans dating back to 400 BC. So for well over 2,000 years, people of the world have associated silver with money. For the U.S., this only stopped a little over one generation ago in 1962 when President John F. Kennedy ordered the halt to the issue of the $5 and $10 silver certificates. And the last of the $1 and $2 existing silver certificates were redeemable for silver on June 24, 1968. Then the nail was placed in the coffin of silver is money in 1972 when President Nixon announced that the United States would no longer redeem currency for gold or any other precious metal. And although the perception of silver as money in the U.S. ended, that doesn't mean the rest of the world stopped viewing silver as a monetary tool. Why does the market price of silver remain so low? We know that the silver market is heavily manipulated by the cabal to disincentivize anyone from investing in what amounts to one of the few remaining true monetary assets that has accepted value all over the world. The Federal Reserve and the government are highly motivated to keep the price of precious metals as low as possible. Silver and gold are direct threats to governments that issue fiat currencies. Their control over their currency is their source of power over the people. Anything that interferes with that power must be controlled or eliminated. Thus, the Fed and the government are committed to do whatever it takes to reduce the appeal of silver and gold and discourage their purchases. If silver and gold were allowed to operate in a free market, subject only to the principles and influences of supply and demand, their market prices would most certainly leap to significantly higher values than they are today. This would completely undermine the legitimacy of the dollar by offering an alternative placeholder or safe haven for currencies whenever the U.S. dollar fluctuates in strength. The Fed doesn't want anyone to think that there are any other safe haven options beyond the dollar itself. This psychologically holds investors to remain in the stock market and other markets regardless of the downfall because they feel they have no other viable option than to just wait it out and hope for the best. All of this serves to artificially represent the dollar as a much stronger currency than it actually is, thus keeping U.S. stock prices, 
the Dow, and the S&P 500 at misrepresented record highs. An artificial inflated strong dollar and U.S. markets only serves America's corporate banking and political elite as they are in complete control of the manipulation and know exactly when prices will be triggered to rise and fall, profiting handsomely on each event. Silver stackers, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The silver market manipulation is unsustainable and as stackers, I feel that we should position ourselves accordingly. In order to do this, we need to understand how the silver market is manipulated. The Federal Reserve Bank, through bullion banks, sells naked shorts on the COMEX in sudden and large quantities, dropping the price of silver significantly. This triggers stop losses, margin calls, and related ETF withdrawals, which further lower the price of silver. The bullion banks repurchase these lower priced shares and redeem them for physical bullion. The bullion is then sold on the London Bullion Exchange, further putting selling pressure on silver and lowering its price. The bullion is then usually sold to Asia to meet their physical demand. Asian investors and governments are getting wise to the game and are increasingly demanding physical delivery, which is what makes the game unsustainable. This reduction in physical silver available to the West will undermine the price manipulation process. Asia's appetite for physical silver won't disappear, and the Shanghai Bullion Exchange needs silver reserves so that it can be a price setter and acquire credibility. It is still in its accumulation phase. Asia will continue to demand physical delivery of silver, which will continue draining the COMEX reserves and reducing the amount available for restocking, ultimately resulting in a single ounce of COMEX silver simultaneously owned by a larger number of investors. Why is the silver market manipulation unsustainable? The requirement for physical delivery by Asian nations is what makes the price manipulation process unsustainable. The process for the manipulation will become extremely strained as Asia continues to demand physical delivery of silver, causing the derivative scheme to operate on less silver and become more leveraged than it already is today. All it will take then is a small number of traders and institutional and retail investors to realize the tiny amount of physical silver that trillions of dollars are being traded on for them to wake up and to start demanding their physical delivery of the silver. And that will be the end of the derivatives game and the price manipulation game. When this happens, silver prices will soar as the markets are allowed to trade freely and trillions of dollars in silver derivative wealth will be wiped out, possibly causing a black swan event that could trigger the US dollar's demise. So what to do with your premium silver before a financial crisis? I believe for most stackers, there's basically two schools of thought. One is just to hold on to those premium pieces in the hope that after the monetary reset, revaluation, redenomination, or whatever it is that happens, your premium silver will somehow regain its premium value once again over the current spot price. The other choice is to liquidate your premium bullion, locking in whatever profits you can now before the financial crisis, and then taking that capital and maximizing your wealth retention for the duration of the crisis in order to come out on the other end with as much wealth retention as possible. No matter how mild or severe the crisis turns out to be, there will be a massive run to the safe haven financial assets like silver and gold. This will skyrocket the price to extreme levels, essentially nullifying any premiums over spot. If silver is $100 an ounce, it won't matter whether you have an American Silver Eagle or a Chinese Panda. 
I don't believe any quantity buyer will offer you a dime over market price for either type of coin. Individual collectors and eBay buyers will disappear as everyone goes through financial survival mode until the financial crisis is over. People will be focused on finding a job, feeding their family, and figuring out how to make their next mortgage payment. After the crisis, with precious metal markets no longer manipulated and the market price of silver sustaining its natural levels well above your premium purchase price, I don't see a market for the premium bullion BU grade coins as they were never supposed to be anything more than a market price investment tool. I firmly believe that after the crisis, this is what they will go back to becoming, and the days of themed bullion rounds and coins at the future prices will no longer have a market. Perhaps after a decade of stable economy, we might begin to see some collector demand once again. So if you plan on recovering any of your premiums before the next decade, you may want to consider modification of your current stacking strategy. Do you think your premium bullion will still be premium once silver market prices are stable at 5x what they are today? Do you believe that the silver market manipulation will end? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. A big thank you to all who support this channel with your likes and comments. I don't monetize my channel so your support is greatly appreciated. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Then select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. And as always, feel free to share this content with all.